the only path to confidence. No one can teach you confidence because no one knows truly how to. This is the truth. Some know they are fraud and they made peace with the fact that they are making a living by selling empty fluff to naive. They can't be helped. Few will find a way from the depths of their ignorance. Some think they do. And they can't be helped either as they live very deep inside their own illusions. All they do is project their own ego. Maybe something has worked for them in the past and they believe that this something will work for everyone. For the one who has at least a fraction of common sense, it would be obvious from the beginning. If there was a universal method applicable to everyone, wouldn't then all people be confident? This observation must be the start. For the one who seeks confidence to understand that 99% of methods and offers that are being thrown at him are a complete garbage. Then the next level of understanding follows. A human becomes confident or at least starts seeking confidence when remaining unconfident is no longer an option. For as long as you are okay with where you are, you will stay there. Search for inner strength begins when it becomes a non-negotiable. Until then, a human will do anything. Watch videos, read articles online, pay for confidence workshops, throw money on fancy clothes, or any other decorations they believe at a given moment would give them that inner power. They will be chasing ghosts. And when nothing works, they will blame the world, not themselves, who've been running after their own tail. Third, the level of psychology. You get yourself on the path of understanding. At the beginning, understanding of quite simple things. Specifically, understanding of the thoughts that make you unconfident. Thoughts create emotions. Emotions drive behavior. Behavior, our actions, create our experience. Our experience shape the way we think. If you're stuck in life, regardless if it is in the matters of self-esteem or anything else, you're obviously stuck in your ways of thinking. And you can't get out of your habitual ways of thinking because, well, you can't get out of your head. Your cranium is a dark room and you are the prisoner in it. The only experience that is available to you in this life is the experience of your own mind. You can't control what you don't understand. If you don't understand your own mind, it controls you. The one with the desire to understand will probably start there. First things first, he will start to examine his thoughts. If something is not working in life, there must be an error in the code. If he is serious in his journey, it will bring him to the grand revelation that will change everything. And that brings us to the final phase. The transcendence. The only true path to confidence is not to work on the mind. It is to transcend it. You are the way you are because of the person you believe yourself to be, but are you the person? This is the heart of the matter. The holy grail of understanding. You are unconfident, not simply because you have unconfident thoughts. You are experiencing the struggle that you are experiencing because you believe yourself to be that person who is struggling. But are you the person?
what I'm writing is not to give you the answers, as the answers given are never to be understood. The knowledge you seek cannot come in the form of words you read or listen, or any external information for that matter. The insight that will move you, the insight that will truly transform you, can only come through experiential confirmation. If I tell you to meditate, you will do so prescriptively, and that will be of no benefit to you. If I tell you to journal, you will do so prescriptively, and that will be of no benefit to you. If I tell you to look within and investigate every single voice you hear in your head, will you do so with sincerity that is required to understand what you need in order to gain the ability to see through the illusion? Not guaranteed. And that is not what I do. Among the people who are seeking right now, there will be one who will stumble upon this because they are ready. And if they are serious in their intent to understand, understanding is inevitable. With my help or without it. A place of true confidence is not coming from the same place as the bravado of a professional fighter who so strongly believes in himself. The voice that makes him act the way he acts and behave the way he behaves is still the voice of the ego. A place of true confidence is the place you no longer see yourself not just as an unconfident person, but not a person at all. A place of true confidence is a place of freedom from self. The self the product of the mind that believes that he is confident or unconfident, the manufactured identity. A place of true confidence is the place of ultimate indifference that arises from the ultimate realization. These words are for the one who is ready to transform. For the one who is not, I couldn't care less.